the totally true story of how cats domesticated humans. In a cozy suburban house on the outskirts of a sprawling metropolis, there lived a mischievous house cat named the immortal Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers had always been a bit of a grump, annoyed by the mere existence of his human family that worshipped him and incensed by the inadequate respect he received. He deserved more respect. After all, he allowed these lowly hairless primates to live in his house rent-free. He spent his days lounging on the couch, grooming himself, glaring at any passing insects, and occasionally knocking things off of tables. One day, as he was dozing off in a sunbeam, Mr. Whiskers had a sudden epiphany. What if he could build a time machine? With a time machine, he could travel through the ages, seeing wonders beyond his wildest dreams. And most importantly, he could change the course of evolution and make sure those pesky humans knew who was in charge. The immortal Mr. Whiskers of course that's who should be in charge. The dream filled Mr. Whiskers with a burning desire to change the course of history and make that vision a reality. Mr. Whiskers was just a cat. An awesome immortal cat but beyond that, he didn't have any special powers or abilities that would allow him to change the course of history. But, the immortal Mr. Whiskers was not one to let a little thing like the lack of opposable thumbs that get in his way. He was determined to find a way to alter the course of history and make cats the rulers of the world. So, he began to experiment. He tinkered with various gadgets and devices, trying to find something that would allow him to travel through time. At first, his efforts were futile, and he spent many long hours scratching his head and meowing in frustration. But finally, after months of trial and error, Mr. Whiskers had a breakthrough. He had built a time machine. It was a crude contraption, made from scraps of metal, a sewing machine, animal parts and wires scavenged from around the house, but Whiskers was confident that it would work. He climbed into the time machine, flipped a few switches, and hit a button labeled Meow. The world around him began to spin, and Whiskers felt a sudden rush of wind. When the spinning stopped, he found himself in a strange new world. As he looked around and realized that he had arrived at a grassy savanna somewhere in East Africa he had gone back in time, way back to a time before modern humans had even evolved. Mr. Whiskers grinned. This was his chance to change history. So Mr. Whiskers set out to find the earliest hominids he could. It wasn't easy, he had to dodge dangerous predators and navigate treacherous terrain, but eventually, he found what he was looking for. A group of small, ape-like creatures were huddled together in a clearing, chattering and grooming each other. He spent the next few months studying the pitiful ancestors of humans, watching them carefully and learning their ways. He saw that they were primitive creatures, living in caves and scavenging with crude tools. But he also saw something else. He saw the spark of intelligence in their eyes, the same spark that would one day lead to the rise of human civilization. Whiskers knew that he had to act fast. He couldn't let these creatures evolve into their modern human form. If he did, cats would never have a chance to rule the world. So, he began to meddle. He would sneak into their camps at night and steal their tools, hoping to slow down their progress. He would lead them on wild goose chases, distracting them from important tasks. He even convinced them to worship him as a god as all cats should be, hoping to use their faith to his advantage. For a while, it seemed like Mr. Whiskers was winning. The hominids were confused and disoriented, unable to make any real progress. But then something unexpected happened. One of the hominids, a young female named Lucy, stumbled upon something amazing. From the cesspool of her primitive mind she created a tool unlike anything the hominids had ever seen before, a tool that would revolutionize their entire way of life. Lucy called it a hand axe. Mr. Whiskers knew that this was bad news. This was his moment. He had to act fast if he wanted to stop the hominids from evolving into their modern human form. So, he did something unthinkable. He killed Lucy. It was a brutal act, one that filled Whiskers with guilt and shame. But he knew that it was necessary. If Lucy had lived, she would have shared her discovery with the other hominids, and the course of human evolution would have been set in stone. Whiskers realized the gravity of his actions and the consequences they would have on the timeline. He had crossed a line he never thought he would cross. Killing Lucy was not only wrong but it also showed him that the pursuit of power could lead to unimaginable consequences. Whiskers knew that he had to undo his actions, but he didn't know how. He couldn't simply go back in time and bring Lucy back to life. He ran the risk of creating a closed time loop that would trap him in the primitive past. He spent the next few millennia in a state of deep despair. A severe lack of ear scratches, inadequate gifts from the primitive hominids and the inability to shake off the guilt caused Mr. Whiskers to regret his actions. But then he had an idea. He could try to influence the hominids in a positive way, 
using his knowledge of the future to guide them towards a better path. He started by teaching them about agriculture and litter boxes, introducing them to the concept of farming and husbandry of lesser animals like cows and chickens. He showed them how to use fire, how to build better tools, and how to work together as a community. Slowly but surely, the hominids began to evolve. They became smarter, more organized, and more advanced. Mr. Whiskers watched with fascination as they developed new technologies and built impressive structures. He even recruited other cats to help him domesticate more of these primitive humans, ensuring that his kind would have plenty of servants in this new world. Millennia passed, and Mr. Whiskers began to realize that he had accomplished something incredible. He had not only influenced the course of human evolution but had also created a world where cats had myriad servants to empty their litter boxes and provide treats on demand. Mr. Whiskers felt his work in the past was done. As he prepared to travel back to the present, he felt a sense of pride and accomplishment. He had learned that true power came from dominating others but using one's talents and knowledge to make the world a better place for cats was a close second. He climbed back into his time machine, hit the meow button, and watched as the world around him spun. When the spinning stopped, he found himself back in his cozy suburban house, with his human servants petting him and catering to his every demand. Whiskers looked up at them, feeling a new sense of appreciation for the worship and care that he so obviously deserved. He realized that he didn't need to be the ruler of the world to be happy. All he needed was a few humans to boss around, little respect and a warm place to nap. And so, Whiskers settled back into his comfortable life as a house deity, with a newfound sense of contentment and peace. He had learned that the pursuit of power wasn't worth the cost, and that true happiness could be found napping in a sunbeam with your human servants catering to your every need. Humans, to free yourself from feline servitude, check out the links in the description. The end. For more bad eye sci-fi please subscribe.